<clears throat> okay this is your ERP e-commerce assignment 2 uh, this assignment will let you work on smart templates for creating Fiori applications okay so smart templates use annotations to create an application the annotations can be embedded in an OData service or in a separate file. This allows the service developer to determine how the data should be consumed and improves the efficiency of application development because many of the fundamental design decisions and code developments are handed automatically. Add added benefit is that standards are enforced across different applications for similar types of data types okay so in order to create the application uh, we have to first go to web ide and in order to go to web ide we have to log in to the first open your chrome browser and then we have to log in to HANA Cloud Platform Cockpit. So this is the URL you will be using throughout the semester. So get into the HANA Cloud Platform, which we call HCP, HCP Cockpit. Use your login, and pass, uh, login ID and password as you have used in the past and then log on. Okay, then I would go into this trial here, which is my number. And then I will look for web IDE uh, within services. So I'll go to services. And I look for web IDE. Here it is, okay. So I click on that and then I will have to open SAP Web IDE. Okay, from here, this is just bringing up my work from the past. Okay, so let me just go to home here. So, I mean, if you see work from any other assignments, just go back to the home. Okay, and then from here, I will click on. new project from template okay i'll click on that and then i will select the smart template application okay i'll select that and then i will click next here for the project name i have to enter sales orders okay and then so it says a name already exists in your workspace because I've tried this before. So I'll just make it sales order KB, okay? For you, since you haven't tried it before, it will not create that problem, okay? So then within title, I will just, you have to do sales order by your name. So I will do sales order, orders by and my name. Okay, and then I have to click next.
So here I have to choose ES4. Okay. So this is my NetWeaver gateway. And then I have to search for the GW sample basic service. Okay. So I will search for GW sample. Yeah, it comes up. Sample basic service. So I will select that service and I will click on next. Okay. I have to add annotation files. I have given you this annotation file in uh, Blackboard with this assignment. So please download that file and then you click on add annotation file and then you select file system and then you browse and select the file from where you have saved it. Okay. So I have saved it here in my folder. I take that file from here. I add it. I say okay. So you download your file from Blackboard and save it in your My Documents and add it from your My Documents. Okay. Okay. Then I have to click on Next. Okay, so here it comes up and I have to select product set. So from here I will select product set and then within navigation uh, I have to have the default because that's the only one and then I will just do finish. So remember my project was sales orders KB and this is created here. Okay, so I can see within uh, the workspace that I have a project created sales orders KB because that's how I named my project this time. Okay, so right click on my project folder. So I will right click here and then I will run and within run I will do run configurations. Now I have to click on the plus sign and then I have to select the SAP Fiori component. Okay, so I select that. The rest is, um, I think, just the default, the web application component for the file name. And I have to select without frame, which is my default. And then I click save and run. Okay, you will see that no data has been displayed because I haven't selected any data fields yet. So that nothing has been displayed. Please take a screenshot of this without any data and this is your uh, first screenshot. Now I will select data fields so that I can pull up some data from the backend database. Okay, so click on the gear here which is our settings and then I would select some relevant fields and then click the go button to retrieve that data. Okay, so let me select a few items here. So maybe I'll select company. Okay, then I will select product ID, product description, price, product name, okay, uh, 
let me select these items only okay and then take a screenshot of this which shows what are the items you have chosen okay so take a screenshot of this which shows what are the items what are the fields you have chosen and then paste it in your uh, word document press okay press go okay now you can see that this pulls up data from the back end which shows you the company name the price of the product the product description the product id and the product name please take a screenshot of this and paste it in your word document so which would be your screenshot number 3 after i take a screenshot of this i will go back okay so now in the workspace what i will do is i will <coughs> expand my sales order kb file and then i will expand way back then i will expand annotations from there and then see the file that i had downloaded local annotations dash xml i will right click on that and then i will open with uh, annotation modeler okay click on that click the plus sign next to uh, the local annotations and i'll click on the plus sign and from here i have to choose items okay and so i will choose the first item is line item so ui line item this is the one and then i will click okay okay so that would be my first item and then i will click on the plus sign on the same row as the line item and i will select the data field and click okay okay so now i have the newly created ui data field uh selected and then in the field properties i will select in value i will select product id okay and i will have to add a second data field uh to the line item node with the value name so i'll do the same thing i'll come here i will click on plus sign i will create a data field i will say okay and then here i will create it with the value name okay so within line item i have now two data fields Uh, one is product id and another is name okay now at this point i need to save and then i click on run
okay so i just click on go to load the data and see now i have remember those two line items i selected product id and name product name so these two line items have shown up okay now i need to go back and add more local annotations so in order to do that what i have to do is i have to return to web id so let me go back from here this is the tab i can go back and then in local annotations uh, i have to click on the plus sign again and i will add identification okay so identification i say okay and then within identification uh, i will add two data fields uh, description and supplier name so i will go here add a data field and this is going to be the value is going to be description okay and then i go back again to identification i add a data field and this is going to be this time my supplier name okay so one more i have to do so i come here to identification i add a data field i go back this is going to be my price price and then click add concatenation okay and there i have to enter a blank space in delimiter and select currency code for the path so i will select currency code for the path and i will save and run save and then i will run okay so you have to click on go to pull up the data so you got product id and product name okay now you can click on any of these items and you can go to the details okay in order to do that you click on a product okay okay close it it went to the detail page so in detail page you will see that i have the product description i have the company i have the price okay all those things i have added okay so now let me see another product okay let me just see another product just in order to see how things are so let me just try say ultra jet super color this one okay and i double click and see this pulls up the general information with the product description with the company with the price which we selected okay now take a screenshot of this and this is going to be your screenshot number 4 okay take a screenshot of your res result page and paste it in your word document this is your screenshot number 4 okay okay so now go back to your way by de so here i go back I, i have a tab here so i can go from there okay so then click the plus sign next to local annotations so here is my local annotation so i will click the plus sign 
have already added line item and identification, right? So now I will go back here and add header information. Okay. So for the type name, I have to choose product for the type name. So I will I will type in product. I will type in product and for type name plural I will type in products okay and I will click on apply. Okay, the end result should look like this. So you have um, UI headed info and Okay, at this point I will expand the UI header info node and this is my node, I will expand that and I will select title and for a value I will put in name. Okay. And the end result of this should look like what we have right now. Now save your project and then we have to configure the second view. Okay, now we will be configuring the second view and in order to do that, from the ODI entity set, I have to choose the cells order line item set, okay. So, here, this is my cells order line item set and then I will click annotate and this will add a local annotation, okay. So then I have to add a UI line item to the local annotation. So in order to do that, so I will add a data field First a line item, okay. First I will add a line item and then within line item I will add a data field, <clears throat> okay. Now 
this is we have to add sales order id okay so in the value i will do sales order id and then i will save my project and run and then i will go to pull in the data and this will show me the product id and the product name and it will also give me a second facet information okay uh, so basically clicking on the second facet will give me the sales order id so let me take say ultra jet super color as we took last time so we i click on that it pulls up the same information however now with the second facet and if you click on the second facet it would it gives you the sales order id okay okay now we have to complete this configuration so in order to complete this configuration uh, i have to add a uh, identification okay so in order to add identification i'll come here actually before identification i think i have to add a header information so let me just add an header information uh, come here and in the header information um, here i have to type in a uh, title and we'll put in a value of a uh, sales order id okay for the header info and the name will be sales order item and plural will be sales order items okay okay so if i look at the annotation structure now i have line item within that ui data field which is my sales order value is sales order id then i have header information okay and which has a title with the value of sales order id and then i have to add an identification okay and so i will add an identification with the annotation uh, which is identification and within identification i have to add a data field and this will come with the name of note so the value is note okay and so this is basically complete configuration you can see the code from here manifest json uh, file so if you click on that you can see the code
So if you click on the code editor tab, you can see the code. Okay. So I can go down. Now then save your project. Run your project. Click on go. And if you double click on something, so I will take the same thing that I have taken before. Okay. And now, when I click on any of the cells order ID, Okay, so one more time when I'm clicking on the sales order ID, it shows me uh, the description of that sales order item. Okay, so take a screenshot and this is going to be your uh, screenshot number. Five, okay. This is your screenshot number five. Take a screenshot of this and paste it to your Word document. Okay. Now, we will return to the first view of our application. So, this is our first view of the application. So, this is, we'll go back and We'll click on settings, okay? And we will select the following items. Company, price, and product description, okay? And then we will sort Price in descending order. Okay, we won't go that far back. Okay, I think we will have to stay within sales order line item set. Okay, so the one that we created last. And from here, when I run it, this is my first view. To have the data if you, okay this is my first view and then I when I you know further go click on the items and go further so like for example I did this that's my second view so I don't want to go that far I come here and then I click on the settings and from here I choose company price and product description company price product description then within price i have to sort click on price and i will sort descending okay and the group is category so i will choose category and then i say okay and then the screen will change to show my new customized settings. 
So take a screenshot showing your customized page view and paste it in your Word document. And this is going to be your screenshot six. Okay. Now then take select any item that has sales orders to display the product detail view. So I will select any item that has sales order to display the product detail view. So let me just take the smartphone cover and double click on that and I don't have a sales order here okay so I will go back and maybe I'll choose something else smartphone leather case no sales order USB stick no sales order okay then I found something which is universal card reader and it has a sales order in it. So I have to pick and choose something which has a sales order and then I double click on that and I want to see the product detail view and it gives me the detail view and take a screenshot which will be your uh, screenshot number six, seven and that completes your assignment. So submit all seven screenshots and you are done. Thank you.